So the last few weeks have seen very challenging dialogue surface in the global society as multiple allegations of sexual harassment and abuse against some very powerful men have come to light. Uh, it's refreshing to see the bravery of so many women who have had um, the, the chance now to finally speak out and have been brave enough to come forward and share their stories and the closure and um, the, 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 the attention, I think, ultimately, that this can bring. But where are men in this conversation is the big question ringing out. And can men contribute meaningfully and express what they understand and how they feel and, of course, condemn what is going on and show our support for our sisters and our mothers and, of course, su suggest ways to men to be better. Let's take a look at this incredible, very emotive commercial for a little food for thought. Blessed are those who forgive. I don't want to involve myself in this situation. What about my kids? I don't want them to grow up without a father. There is no excuse for woman abuse. Champion men take action. Join us at noexcusesa.com. Wow. Hashtag no excuse for woman abuse. Joining us ahead of the International Men's March to Parliament as part of the hashtag no excuse movement is Ntando Yola from the Western Cape Men's Sector and Western Cape Spokesperson Ndomiso Madu Bella. Gentlemen, um, a very warm welcome to our show. Thank you. Um, I think that took all of our, our breath away, an incredible yeah. um, piece of, of work there. Um, but I think most importantly, what kind of struck out for me, three women in South Africa killed. are killed every yeah. single yeah. day. Yeah. As we speak. Every we day. Speak. <sighs> if, if people still haven't got it, if people yeah. still don't understand why we have reached critical mass, yeah. why are you campaigning to the degree that you are? Maybe I can start with you, Antando. Yeah, no, I mean, I think that it's exactly at that point, and really the question is to if you know if men don't get it if everybody doesn't get it really something really different has got to happen and that is the reason why um, through uh, this campaign uh, of no excuses we're really mobilizing men to be you know to come together and stand up because there's been quite a lot you know with what has been happening uh, that highlighted how men are silent mm. you know how men you know, knowing what is happening next door, are looking on the other side and not doing anything. So, so really, this movement, which started in 2013 um, through the South African National AIDS Council, really wanted to look at, at at mobilizing men and institutionalizing men, so that you know we can come together and really uh, look at a range of actions that really want to address that this from a, yeah. a man's point of view. Mm -hmm. You know, case in point, we did a little study on our show where we played sounds of domestic abuse loud mm. enough to ring out within a neighborhood. Not one phone call, not one Imagine. person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And people definitely heard it then. We, we followed that up by playing loud party noises and there were 10 complaints coming <laughs> through. Imagine. Um, with all of this that's surfacing in the news at the moment, there again is this call that, well, why are women only standing up now and speaking out now, yet nothing has been said about the men who knew what was going on at the moment. Why do you think we have this culture, not just in South Africa, globally? Why are men so afraid to stand up for our women? I think it's exactly that, that we need to unpack and unfold and interrogate as to why is it that as men we can't engage in dialogue and yeah. actually address these issues. I think it's um, with the, what the, uh, the campaign is uh, uh, going aiming for is to say that it's enough is enough. Yeah. It starts now 
uh, and it starts with me. So that let us actually have those uncomfortable conversations. Let us actually unpack as to why is it as men we're, we're turning the other cheek, you know, uh, when we see and, and experience gender-based violence every day. Yeah. So the march, a big opportunity. Lastly, um, what is it all about and how can people get involved? So, so really, we have, um, you know, we have, we have, uh, it's, we are on social media, uh, and 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 uh, we have the website, and uh, we, where we're really inviting a lot of men mm. to to really go into. Uh, but one of the actions is that the march is happening this Sunday, uh, from Kaiserslautern in Cape Town well said. to mm. Parliament. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> we try. So, so at eleven, really, uh, we we we're really meeting. Uh, in that place and marching as men mm. from all over South Africa mm. to really stand up and march to parliament to, you know, and, and in fact there's quite a lot of other things that will be happening as part of the march, mm. uh, but I think the march uh, is just an important event to a really highlight, solidarity. you know, yeah. Yeah, um, this issue. Well, I'll be there and you can go to noexcusesa.com uh, no excuse, uh, no to get a lot more information, but start tracking that hashtag, no excuse. No if excuses. you are in the mother city, come and join the march on Sunday, Kaiserskracht uh, Street in Cape Town, marching all the way to parliament to show our solidarity for South African women. Three South African women are being killed by their partners every day in this country.